is going on guys the snow has finally started look at this goodness so today we are going to be starting our own snow removal company now i only had this little uh i guess we call it toro snow blower and that's all we have now i'm giving myself one month to basically be in maybe a truck or something with a uh, blade on it to do big parking lot um industrial places where you make the most money but today we've got sort out with this so for this week we're going to try to upgrade maybe to like a side by side or something like that now we're at this little i guess little restaurant now i stopped down at that house down there and they're like no we don't need anything done i'm like okay so we're going to try to find a door and ask if they would like for us oh here it is um to move uh remove the snow in their parking lot i think this is probably a 200 dollars job maybe i mean hopefully i mean they could always say no all right so i asked them, i was like hey do y'all have anybody removing your snow and they're like yeah we used to have a guy but he kind of retired i'm like listen i got a snowblower like for 200 dollars, i'll remove everything in this parking lot they said that's fine so let's go ahead and get it going all right this is it this is their first little job that we have i think we're gonna have to blow it frontwards maybe yeah right here yeah let's blow it in front of us so we can because i want to get it away from the wall oh man <laughs> this little thing's going good all right this is gonna be a lot of work i probably said a little bit more than 200 but you know what it is what it is i will try to blow it away from the th or toward the fence here i hate that there's a car there I'm hoping I can blow it. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so there are parking blocks on there. We got to watch out for that. We can't mess their snow, mo their snow blower up. All right. Perfect. When we do it like that, it does a whole lot better. I guess where we're not moving such big snow and everything. All right, let's go on and go around here. We get out back first. Oh, a little more. <clears throat> All right, got that. Let's go ahead and blow it over there. I don't want to blow it on the car. This is why I definitely want to get a uh, you know a blade because we can actually push it instead of doing this. But we gotta do what we gotta do. This house right here might not like us blowing in there, so I think we'll just kind of ball it up in one. I'm going to point it downward a little bit. There we go. That way it don't go out too far. I might have got a little bit on that person's yard. But, oh well. I ain't going to say nothing. <laughs> Alright, we're going to pile up some on this side of the car. Um, we have to make some piles. It ain't like we're going to remove all of it and there ain't going to be no snow or anything. If that house says anything, they can... I'll just be like, oopsie. All right, let's go ahead and move it here because this is a place of business we want to try to get as good as we can. All right, we got that. All right, let's go back over here. We're going to try to fling it over the fence more. That actually blew it way over there, farther than what I thought it would. So, that's pretty good. Like, look how far it literally blows it way over there. So, to be honest, I think we're going to be <laughs> we're going to be pretty good. I thought this would take a little bit longer than what it would be, but as long as we blow it way over there, we'll be good. Look at that piles of snow over there. Every road that feels gonna be like, what the crap is going on here? There is a parking block right there, okay. Let's 
The question is now, how far can I blow it? Oh my gosh, that's actually way over there. So, that's going to be good. Now, I'm going to try to blow it way in front of us to get over there. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> Blowing it over and then we just keep on rolling. That's what I'm talking about. It's like, I love how far this thing shoots out. All right, so we got the other side done. We're gonna start shooting this side over. I don't wanna shoot it on the sidewalk, it's all I need. <laughs> A fine from the town. All right, we're gonna make sure it goes way over there. I gotta watch that car. Of course, people always park cars on the wrong, in the wrong area, but they didn't know it was gonna snow or anything. Good thing about really having the snowblower, I can get to these little places here. Now I probably need to turn that because I don't want to blow it, <laughs> blow it into their windows. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and park this over here. And we're going to go get our money. And hopefully they might know a couple more places. Actually, let me get right here in front of the store. A couple more places that might actually need some help. Or, you know, my need um, snow, well, snow removed. There we go. Perfect. All right. Well, we actually got $300. We got a little tip. They are like, thank you so much for doing that. So we made some money there. They told me we should go across the road. I think it's like this taco stand or whatever this place is and ask them because they uh, they don't have anybody scraping their road either because they had the same guy so let's go talk to them maybe uh maybe we can get oh it's a toy is this a toy store it is a toy store yeah they don't have anybody here they got cars and everything so i think their parking lot goes over to here probably um, so that's a pretty good sized parking lot. I'm going to say we'll do it for like $500. I know that's a lot, but we only have a snowblower, so we'll see. All right, so I talked to them. They were like, 500 is a little too steep for them. I was like, I can do it for 450, but I'm doing it with the snowblower, so that's kind of why and everything. And I said, you know, I do apologize, and I know it's not y'all's fault. Um, they said they will let me do it for 450 So we're going to go ahead and fire this bad boy up. There we go. I want to make a, a round first just to get a little clean spot. Yeah, because we can literally blow over this. Look how, far, look how far this thing is blowing. Oh my gosh. Just in case the snow's more, we got to we'll, we'll shoot it way out there. Now, I told them I'm only going this clean spot because, you know, that's a whole different company there. All right, let's get this last little bit right here, and we'll have their back alleyway done. Look at this. I mean, this, uh-oh. <laughs> we might have got a call right there. Uh, let go of my machine. All right, perfect. Now let's go ahead and make our pass through here. The only time I wish that we did have a thing, I guess I probably shouldn't have done that over there yet, because that, that's, that's kind of stupid now. I gotta literally go back over what I did. Okay, well, that was a mistake on my part, okay? It was a mistake. I know. I'll pay for it with fuel. Well, <clears throat> at least I did clear a little spot over there. At least it, because if I kept going, it'd get a little bit deeper. I'm trying to redeem myself from that stupid mistake I did, okay? That, that, that's what I'm saying. Uh, at least the parking lot's looking good. Hopefully, uh, whatever that business is there would want us to clean theirs, too. That's probably like a $100 job. It ain't nothing uh, major like this one. But for us to get, like, a, a big grocery store or a fire department, we would definitely need, like, a side-by-side -side or a truck or something. It's so Snowblower actually has the power. I mean, check this out. That's a lot of snow right there, but look. Just moseying like it's nothing. Wow, what the, look at that, 
<laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Well, we should have no problem pushing snow with this thing. This thing is like eating it up. Oh my gosh. We got a little bit more and then we got to get in front of the uh, store and everything like that. But I wanted to get this pile out of the way because it was getting too big. Oh yeah. And I think there's actually a creek over there. Yeah, there is a little creek here so all the all the snow we're putting over here it should melt all right well that's as far as i want to do um coming on this side so let's go around the front grab that snow and we'll be good to go at least their parking lot is clear all right well we're done and you're probably wondering well, what happened what about the snow what, what do we do with this well they actually being a toy store they said they're going to have a snowman building contest for the kids so not to uh you know get all this snow up because they want it out of the parking lot but not where nobody parks because they want to have that contest so we're good there instead of 450 i charged them 400 i was like take the 50 and like put on the contest and everything like that so we're good now i asked them about this company over here which i don't know why when i went up here and they said yeah go ahead and check with them everything so if we can clear this out here i'm like hey you know we <clears throat> we done cleared out your neighbors I mean, I'll probably do this for 200 I think this would be too... We've got $700. If we could do $1,000 a day, we'd be doing good. So let's go ahead and go talk to them. All right, so they said, yeah, um, 200 sounds good. Just, uh, you know, to, to clear the snow and everything. But they asked if we could do it tomorrow. And I'm like, yeah, we can do it tomorrow. So I think we're going to call it a day and we'll be coming back out tomorrow. I am absolutely frozen. All right, well, it is day two, and we are back at business. I'm actually, we got to do that place down there, but I'm going to stop at this little taco restaurant, and I'm going to ask if they would like theirs um, done and everything. I think this is another, <clears throat> it's another $200 job. All right, they said, yeah, we'd love it. I was like, all right, I got to do y'all's neighbors down there, and I'll be right back to do the old day. I said, I'd do it for $200 and a case of D and large sweet tea. And they said, sounds good. So, heck yeah, let's go down here. Clean this parking lot out real quick, and that'll be already four hundred dollars for the day. If we can, like I said, if we can make around, you know, five thousand a week or something, I think we'll be pretty good. Well, all right, let's shoot this over this way. Yeah, I don't want to shoot it in the parking lot over there that we gotta <laughs> do. All right, I'm not gonna be stupid this time. I'm not gonna clear and then like put snow back on it. This thing is absolute beast. Starts up good in the mornings and everything. All right. And the bad thing is we can't go out to the big neighborhood because I don't have a car. This is legit all I have. Definitely going to have to, you know, get us some transportation or something. We definitely need... I thought about trying to buy a side-by-side. -side. Maybe if we get a down payment or something, that would probably work. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. We got a little bit more back here. I don't know. It looks like there's like a cover there. I don't want to get... I don't want to mess up the cover. All right. There we go. This one is done. That's not too bad. Let's go get our money. Money, money. It'd be seven, eight, nine hundred. After this, we'll be over a thousand. Perfect. Two hundred to the bank let's go over here and uh <laughs> get our get get our taco one and that way we'll go in there and, uh, <clears throat> we can actually warm up a little bit all right i want to go ahead i want to go ahead and get all this done before we actually do it let's lower and crank her on oh yeah <clears throat> yeah is this a drive-thru this might yeah it is a drive-thru all right so we definitely definitely want to get this cleaned out for them all right, well, that's done. Let's go ahead and we'll get over here. And I'll probably shoot it frontwards. That place is going to be packed with, uh, with water and stuff after all this melts. There we go. Perfect. Shooting it over. And we'll go straight over as far as it, it'll let us. All right, 
we got the front done out there. Let's go ahead and uh, go in and get our money and <laughs> get our food. All right, well, we got our money. We are up to 1100. Time to go find some more places to... Actually, we could talk to this person over here. I think this is another business. All right, let's go talk to the... West Hill Bread. All right, well, we got turned down on that one. Um, They said this is their slow time of the year, and basically it's just all employees, and they just don't have the money to spend on i'm like i totally understand so we're going to go i guess on down here and hopefully we can find some more um there is a house right there i don't know we might come back to it this is what this is what we're gonna run into it's like we're running out of small little places listen i know this is a long shot but i might ask if the fire department needs it done i feel like they would have their own but it don't look like it, it looks like she's being like a lot of shoveling so let's ask him all right well that kind of hurt my feelings <laughs> they was like yeah we're looking for somebody to scrape it but <clears throat> you know they said we need it salted and everything too and basically i'm just too small of a setup and i said i understand i knew this was going to be the problem. So I'm hoping this burger joint down here <clears throat> will let us do air, let, let us do their parking lot. I'll ask these people here too. And then maybe we'll go see about financing a, <coughs> a side by side or we can make some more money. Now I didn't want to finance, but I have to do what I have to do. A lot of these are already scraped. Hey sir, hey, how you doing? Love the hat. All right, let's go talk to them because they do have a drive through here. Don't look like it's done. All right, well, they said they're closed today and they really don't want to um, pay to have it done today. But they said come back tomorrow and they was like, how much? I said, well, I can do 300 to do it. Yeah, we'll make it look good. And they said, that's fine. So we literally got to walk all the way back down here tomorrow. All right, well, it is actually day four of our wonderful day. They called me and they're like, hey, um, don't come out until today. Um, I want to go let them know I'm here and make sure they you know, still want it and everything. All right, they're like, yep, go ahead. So let's rock and roll. Next stop is us getting the side by side. I don't know whose field that is, but it's getting put in there. Let's just say that. And maybe it's uh, this gas station might let us do it. But see, a lot of people want salt put down, and I just can't do that right now. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> this thing is a beast. Now, I know what you're saying. Well, you cleared a little path. Yeah, but I didn't want to get too deep on it. So, is what it is. It's looking really, really good. We'll go, uh, we'll go all the way around the sidewalks and everything. And then the other side, that way their um, drop through will be open. And luckily I did this because if it gets too packed, you really can't get the ice off of it. I'm going to go ahead and start going this way because I don't really, I don't know where the, uh, the other uh, parking lot ends and begins. And I don't want to, you know, I don't want to be, you know, doing their parking lot. And not making money so i want to get as close as i can to the curbs and everything we'll probably make two more laps looks like there's a parking block right there and they will be done now this parking lot I, it is a good size but i'm running into the issue of where like i have to blow it so far <clears throat> and it's making more of a mess i need to fix it so i can just you know push it up like you know against the building or you know just to the side and because of this it's hard to get it to if i want it to be in a pile right there it's hard to do that so i want to keep it like it is and we'll see if we can get a side by side hopefully fingers crossed <laughs> or we could get a new ride or something like that we've got twelve hundred dollars that's not a lot but might be a down payment all right, let's go talk to them. Now, I couldn't get too far uh, close to that because it was like packed ice, unfortunately. I think that's when a, a blade would come in handy. But they got their drive through open and everything, so let's go in here and talk to them. All right, so I don't... I thought I said 200, but they, <laughs> they gave me 300, so I was like, I think I said 200. I, to be honest, I can't remember. But they're like, here, it's fine. We do appreciate it. I'm like, well, thank you. <clears throat> you know, it is the season. All right, so... Oh, car coming. Sorry. Sorry about that. 
All right, let's go ahead and uh, we're going to head back to the house and then hopefully we can <laughs> upgrade to a uh, better, better snowplow unit. All I'm saying is walking all the way from way down there to way down here is a long <laughs> walk. Luckily, I got to do it in two days, but oh my God gosh so we're basically coming up on air week i didn't get to make it so this is what day day let's see day six i'm gonna tell them like hey i want to trade this for that unit right there look at that <clears throat> that thing is nice this is what i want this is this is what we definitely want but then later on we need something bigger because if we do bigger you know parking lots but that's more money i mean you're talking about thousand two thousand dollars big parking lot a lot of times they have contracts and everything all right let's Let's go talk to them. All right. Well, I've been in there for a couple hours going back and forth. Here's what they said. We have a total of um, $1,300. And they said they would give me $2,300 for this. So that would be $3,600 we would have to put down on this. They want $10,000 for this. So basically, we can get this financed and then we can get it paid off. If, if we can make enough money in a week with this, we can get it paid off. And then we can probably trade this in or something bigger. So I think we should do it. So let's go sign the paper. All right, what's well, done? This is Ayers. Unfortunately, we had to get rid of the snowblower, but it doesn't really hurt my feelings, especially when I'm in this. Oh, is it teal? I don't think it is. Is it teal? Oh, it is. <clears throat> Look at that. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. And then we got the salt spread on the back and everything. Now, I don't have any salt for it. We've got to make some money. We're actually flat broke, so we're back at zero. But we've got this. All right, guys, if you liked the uh, video, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to punch that subscribe button. It always helps out the channel. And I will see you in the next one. And hopefully, we can upgrade to maybe a tractor or even a truck. Woo! <laughs> America, baby. Finally. I got no heat in here, but I'm getting it.